Tonight, a time to remember and to restart. The Chesapeake Walmart, where six lives were lost, is back in business. Five months in the making and millions of dollars in renovations to erase a dark past. At the same time, there is a place to memorialize the victims of that horrific November night. Good evening and thank you for joining us. That Tuesday night in November, just two days before Thanksgiving, was one we won't forget. Nor will we forget the victims of that evening inside Walmart off Battlefield Boulevard. Six of them died and others were hurt when a manager opened fire in the store's break room right around this time of night. The heartbreak continues for the families affected. Today, a new beginning, a completely renovated store with a place to remember those killed. It's open for business once again, but it's not going without some families concerned about the messaging from one of the nation's largest retailers. Sending your sides, Michelle Wolf was there on that night nearly five months ago and has a look at today's event. November 22nd, 2022, six Walmart employees went to work. They would never come home and the store shut its doors. Now, 148 days later, the store is reopened. It has a new layout and has a memorial with six benches, one for each person lost. <laughs> Nearly five months after a mass shooting at the Walmart on Battlefield Boulevard, where employees Brian Pendleton, Kelly Pyle, Lorenzo Gamble, Randy Blevins, Tanika Johnson, and Fernando Jesus Chavez Barone lost their lives. Today, Mayor Rick West called the store's reopening ceremony a time to heal. Walmart has displayed a, a, a kindred spirit to our city, and uh, so it's a healing. It really signifies um, a, a new beginning, but also that we're not going to allow tragedy to stop progressing within the community and really being that positive light that Walmart always has been to the community. In addition to an outdoor memorial, the store now has a mural of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and a heron. Images often found in the city's logo. Store manager Alicia Mixon tells 10 on your side she and her associates all took part in painting a portion of the artwork. The petals that are on there to be able to paint them. And so that was a good experience. Mixon says 60% of the store's employees have returned. I think that was really good for the associates to feel involved. Dozens gathered at the ceremony, including family members of those killed, who say the ceremony came off as tone deaf and they were disappointed that the names of those lost weren't on the memorial. The Blevins family attorney tells 10 on your side in part Walmart's grand plan to reopen the store with fanfare hurts them deeply as it is quite hypocritical given Walmart's position abandoning the families of those killed and hurt. My client says that corporate representatives of Walmart came to her home shortly after the incident, sat on her couch, offered their condolences and told her that this store would never reopen again. Again, today was the first time the Battlefield Walmart has opened since the mass shooting in November. Hours after its reopening, the store was evacuated because of a gas leak. In Chesapeake, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side. The investigation into the shooting remains ongoing. Chesapeake police remain the lead in what led the shooter to open fire on that Tuesday before Thanksgiving. The FBI has also been assisting in the investigation. Meantime, four lawsuits connected to the shootings remain in the courts, and our investigative team reports there has been one settlement, the terms of which were not released. All of our coverage of the Chesapeake mass shooting is now posted on wavy.com.